And we begin at 9 with a Fox 10 exclusive. New insight on the long-term care facility where a former nursing assistant is accused of raping and impregnating a patient. Fox 10 investigator Justin Lum spoke to the man who brought the alleged victim to the Goodyear Police Department. He says staff at Palm Valley didn't take the allegations seriously. And we need to warn you, some of the details in this story are graphic. John Ellen, the case against Bobby Lee Williams is in the hands of the Maricopa County Attorney's Office. He faces potential charges of sexual assault and unlawful imprisonment. A former patient of this facility tells us he watched the alleged victim get ignored by staff and says the delay in reporting to state agencies goes all the way up the chain of command. Documents obtained from the state's Department of Health reveal the woman allegedly raped by a nursing assistant confided in another patient. That patient is Salvatore Anastasi, who was admitted to Palm Valley post-acute for health issues on September 24th of last year. One day I was sitting on the swing out front, and she came out, and she looked really frazzled. She looked uh, real sluggish. And she says, can I confide in you in something? And I'm like, sure. And she goes, you promised me not to say anything to anybody? I'm like, I won't say anything. And she says she, she thinks she's being raped by one of the employees that work there. We'll call the alleged victim Jane Doe. DHS findings say in late September of 2023, Jane woke up to a staff member kissing her before sexually abusing her. Investigators say the accused certified nursing assistant is Bobby Lee Williams, who would surrender his license to the state's Board of Nursing last month. The board's investigator says Williams admitted to having sex with Jane, but said she came on to him. According to the Department of Health Statement of Deficiencies, Jane claims Williams raped her 15 to 20 times during her stay. My room was right across the hall when I first got there, so I could see the door, the door, and he would go into her room for long periods of time. Like, you know, what the hell, he's going in there for a couple hours, I wonder why. Documents say Jane tried speaking with the director of operations, but was told to follow chain of command, despite another nursing assistant reporting the same allegation to Palm Valley's director of nursing on September 28th. Anastasi says he was there when Jane also confronted the director of nursing. She went next door to the director of nursing, and she mentioned something to that lady, and the lady was like, you know, you're nothing but trouble. By October 13th, Jane had been discharged and Anastasi offered to help. I'm going like, well, you need to do something about that. You need to go to the police station. Goodyear police took the victim's report, but it took another month for the Department of Health to be notified by a concerned staff member on November 17th, reporting that Williams was still working at Palm Valley. DHS says the facility would self-report the next day. Williams was terminated two days later, and Jane Doe was pregnant. She was like, distraught, man. I mean, she was like, just in, in shock. You know, she's she's really, in, the last I talked to her, she was still really having a hard time. How much does this fall on Palm Valley? I think 100%. Jane's lawyer tells Fox 10 that Palm Valley should be held accountable for life-altering injuries, saying Williams was allowed to prey on Jane, and that when she called for help, staff leadership did nothing to stop the sexual violence from occurring. You had another employee, CNA, go to the director and go to whoever and report that this issue happened, that they seen it or they heard it or they know he was having sex with somebody and they didn't do anything about it. Regardless of what people say, if it was consensual or not, it doesn't matter. You do not have any kind of relationship, any kind of anything with your patients. We've reached out to Palm Valley Post Acute for comment. We have not gotten a response. We've also reached out to Bobby Lee Williams to see what he has to say, but he also did not respond. Live in the studio, I'm Justin Lum for Fox 10 Investigates. Justin, thanks.